Welcome back, and today we're talking about Tower of God episode 8. So like always, let's just jump into it. So episode 8 of Tower of God, while I thought it was a good episode, it wasn't a bad episode at all. I enjoyed this episode. I do feel like I was disappointed a little bit, right? Right when the episode ended, uh, you know, I, I was kind of feeling like that's it. That's what we're getting. I wish we would have got like two, three minutes into a Team B's uh, progression against uh want and how they're gonna you know advance in this test now we know androsi she's got a plan but androsi is not coon because man coon's plan was insane right uh we knew we knew that there's no way uh team a was gonna be able to take want head on there's no way they were gonna fight him and win so the only way for team a to kind of win and beat the test was to outplay him and Kuhn came up with the perfect plan. But what we didn't know, right, was that if Team A were to pass the test, Team B would automatically kind of fail. And if Team B fails, Ban won't be able to climb the tower. So of course, Kuhn came up with a plan to fix all of this, right? He came up with a plan that would allow uh, Quant to win and Team A to fail, but guarantees that, you know, four characters are guaranteed to pass anyway. So Kuhn really didn't care about, about passing the test because he was guaranteed to pass. Uh, Kuhn, Shibasu, Anak, and Leone were already guaranteed to pass. So Kuhn used this opportunity to make a deal, right? Because he knows Quant is a very, very prideful person. He does not want to lose, especially against regulars, right? He's supposed to be a ranker, somebody that conquered the tower, made it to the top. If he loses to regulars, that would be like a big, you know, stain in his name. So he did not want to lose. And he had to take uh, Kuhn's deal. Now, we don't know exactly what those deals uh, that they made, what the terms were, but I'm sure we're going to find out pretty soon. And then, you know, that that's all we got in this episode. That was really the big events that we got. It was pretty much Kuhn outthinking Quan. So I am excited for the future episodes. I know, I know exactly what's going to happen. And, you know, even with that whole character, right, we see that he has a darker tone. When he was talking to the female character, I forgot her name, uh, you know, she was mentioning how she does not think she can climb the tower like she was confident at the beginning but not anymore right because it's getting some serious stuff right now like you gotta be powerful in order to climb and she is not at that level yet and we know Ho has been struggling a lot with his Shinsu and controlling the Shinsu. Heck, even Bam passed him. And remember the little comment that Ho made that he was going to help out the weak? Yeah, who's the weak now? So Ho is definitely getting some karma. But he, he's got something up his sleeve. It's obvious that he's got something up his sleeve. I mean, he was watching Bam. He's kind of looking at Bam. I'm, he probably has some hatred. He's salty that Bam is better than him. On, on that chance to control. But remember, he did get a mysterious letter. We don't know what letter, uh, who sent that letter and, and the contents of it. All we, all we know is that he was asking a question if he wants to climb the tower. Of course, there has to be some type of deal or something because you're not gonna climb the tower for free, okay? There's gonna be something happening and I can't wait to see it. So overall, while I was a little bit disappointed by the episode, I still enjoyed what we got. I think this was one of the weakest episodes so far, but I know the future is very bright and I can't wait for it. So like always, let me know what you thought of this episode. Go ahead, subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you on the next episode.